years, this NDP Liberal Prime Minister is not worth the crime, chaos, drugs and disorder. BC families have suffered under the Liberals' wacko legalization of deadly <laughs> hard drugs like crack, cocaine, heroin and meth. This wacko hard drug experiment should be ended, not expanded to Toronto or Montreal or anywhere else. Conservatives have a motion to end the legalization of deadly hard drugs. Ensure the government denies any active or fur further uh, applications and redirect money to treatment and recovery. Will the minister support the Conservative motion to end this government's radical failed drug policy experiment? The Honourable Minister for Mental Health and Addictions. I think we need to take a moment to recognize why this issue is so important for every family that has lost a loved one to this tra tragic overdose crisis from an illegal toxic drug supply. People are drawing, dying alone from fentanyl, Mr. Speaker. We need policies that work. We need to meet communities where they are. And we need to understand that this is public health, Mr. Speaker. They continue to want to criminalize family members rather than getting them harm reduction, prevention and treatment. Mr. Speaker, we are committed to saving lives and getting people health care. The Honourable Member from Kelowna Lake Country. Mr. Speaker, according to the most recent data, since the NDP Liberal Prime Minister took office nine years ago, sadly, opioid overdose deaths across Canada increased 166 per cent. And in BC, overdose deaths are now the leading cause of death for youth aged 10 to 18. Addiction doctors came out saying legalized drugs are being diverted to youth. And unbelievably, today, the Minister for Children refused to answer if she's standing up for children against her government's wacko drug policies. Conservatives are calling to end taxpayer-funded narcotics which are being diverted to our children. Will the Minister for Children stand up for children and vote for our Conservative motion? Yeah. The Honourable well said, well said. Minister for Mental Health and Addictions. Mr. Speaker, the member across the way seems to rec not want to recognize that in provinces like Alberta, where they cut back on a comprehensive continuum of care, including harm reduction, people are dying at astronomical rates. Diversion is illegal, Mr. Speaker. The member well knows that. We are committed to a full continuum of care to help those who need health care, not criminalize them, not force them into treat them, treatment, but get them the help that they need. Shame. Get the Liberals the help, the help they need. The Honourable Member from Oxford. After nine Andrew Shears on his phone, he's watching the stream. Crime, chaos, what up, Andrew? And disorder. Thanks right. to his wacko drug policies that have legalized hard drugs like crack, meth and heroin, we are now seeing 22 Canadians die every single day from drug overdose. And this Prime Minister has even legalized open drug use in our parks, in our playgrounds and in our schools. Will this Prime Minister show some compassion, support our motion right. to ban hard drugs and support treatment so we can bring our loved ones home drug free? Job, the Honourable Minister for Mental Health and Addictions. Mr. Speaker, <laughs> it is amazing to me that across the way they continue to mislead Canadians. Addressing the overdose crisis and the tragic deaths that we are seeing from illegal fentanyl in our streets needs harm reduction, needs prevention, it needs treatment and law enforcement. Mr. Speaker, we work collaboratively with every jurisdiction to provide health care. Why do they continue to think it's okay to criminalize loved ones who need help? The Honourable Member from Peterborough, Kawartha. After nine years of this Prime Minister's wacko policy, overdoses have increased 166 per cent. And the number one cause of death for kids in BC is opioids. She's looking directly in the camera. The Parliament, the Liberal safe supply, is ending up on the black market, which is then sold to children, creating a new generation of addicts. The Minister of Children said earlier today that kids dying of opioids is not her problem. So whose problem is it? And who is going to protect the children and end the legalization of fentanyl, meth, and crack? Well, Make Minister Canada Minister safe services. again. Mr. Speaker, it's all of our grief. That's what it is. It's every single parent in this country who has lost a child. That's what it's about, Mr. Speaker. It's about the person who's on the street today hoping they're going to make it to tomorrow and that their parents far away from them are also hoping, Mr. Speaker, that they'll make it to tomorrow. That's 
That's why we work with scientists and doctors, Mr. Speaker, because we are focused on saving lives, even the people they don't think are worth saving. Here, here. You literally have le or decriminalized hard drugs, and you've offered a program for people to unalive themselves, even if they can't pay their bills. Oh, yeah, you guys really care about saving lives.